Today we are discussing about differences between anti-mortem and post-mortem hanging. Actually it is a post-mortem suspension. Differences between anti-mortem hanging and post-mortem suspension of the dead body. Anti-mortem hanging means most of the time it is a suicide. Post-mortem suspension is most of the time it is a homicidal or suicidal miscarriage. First we are discussing what is the motive. Motive of anti-mortem hanging is most of the time it is suicidal. But what is the motive of post-mortem suspension is to mislead the investigating officer, investigation or jurisdiction. To create a scene of suicide, actually it was a homicide, but it is a creating like a suicide. That is post-mortem suspension. The autopsy surgeon should discriminate the difference between anti-mortem hanging and post-mortem suspension. Coming to the what is the quality and appearance of ligature like mark in case of anti-mortem hanging. That is actually a ligature like mark is an abrasion. Abrasion is dark brown in case of anti-mortem hanging. Whereas after death, if we are suspending a body, the ligature like mark which is created on the neck is Pale, pale yellow, anti-mortem abrasion is always dark brown. Coming to the saliva, saliva, because of the irritation of the live salivary glands, there is a dribbling of saliva in case of anti-mortem hanging. In case, very clear case of suspending a dead body, there is no live salivary secretion in dead body. So dribbling of saliva is always absent. Coming to the injuries over the body. Obviously there may not be any injuries in suicidal hanging. Whereas in post-mortem suspension there may be some, some injuries which necessary to kill a person by other means. Signs of asphyxia. By the, by the time of hanging, the person is alive. So, triad of asphyxia, that is congestion, critical hemorrhages and cyanosis. These are well marked in case of antimortem hanging. In case of dead body, that is created by some mean, some other means, maybe by stabbing or injuries or other means, the signs of asphyxia, congestion, cyanosis and critical hemorrhages are absent. Coming to the circumstantial evidences, usually a suicidal hangings are in a closed confinement or remote areas. There may not be any signs of struggle. But in case of post-mortem suspension of the body, there may be some dragging marks, pulling, disturbance of seen, or may be seen in case of post-mortem suspension. Coming to the drag marks on the body, body will be dragged from one area to one another area after killing some other means. These are all absolutely absent in case of anti-mortem suicidal hanging but may present in case of suicidal miscarriage. Coming to the suicidal note, may present, may not be present. If it is present, always it is corresponding to the victim's handwriting but whereas in case of post-mortem suspension 
यूज वाले सुसाइडल नोट में भी एबसेंट इफ इट इज प्रेजेंट द हैंड राइटिंग मे नॉट बी करस्पॉन्डिंग आर मे नॉट मैच विथ मे नॉट मैच विथ दी suicidal note proof fibers may be seen in the hands of the victim absent in case of suicidal masquerade this is some typical findings of anti mortem hanging and post mortem suspension 